one morning, Sir Topham had asked Merlin to, to watch James while he was at the mine working. While Merlin wasn't too happy he had to work with James, he was happy enough to put James in order. Now James, I bought these trucks for you. You have to shunt them and take care of them, or else they might pay you back. They're really not straight cars, but they can get annoying after a while and make fun of you. We don't make fun of others, said the orange line car. Yeah, said the lime green car. We're really useful too. Trust me, I've seen you two before back on my old railway. Everyone was uncoupled and chucked away. Take care, laughed James. Ha, huh, more like Biff and Bash. And James went and BOOM! The freight car is hard. The supplies fell out the first car. The other car was derailed and hit a flat pole. You stupid red engine. They shouted. This is all your fault. Then Merlin came. Oh, bother James. Did you not listen to what I said? Well, I had to teach them something. We did nothing to you, you redhead. They shouted. Oh, bother, Ron Merlin. I'll have to get them back on the rails. It took Merlin a while to get the freight cars back on the rails. But luckily, they were back on the track. They glared severely at James. What I even do to you two? James glared back. The other freight cars then blowed James. They didn't want to go anywhere near, near him now. The next morning, Merlin brought the workmen in his coaches. Then Merlin saw James. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, Merlin. He better not up, be up to trouble. He's gonna be in the trouble, rumbled the coaches. Anyways, at least we don't misbehave and bump engines off the rails. If only if they try to misbehave and be rude to others. That is. All right, three, two. James, what are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing, Merlin, said James. I'm just trying to try what's by. I mean, I was just uh, trying to test that those buffers by that siding. I wouldn't go to a fire with James and Merlin. It could be very, very dangerous. James was confused, though. Later that night, James was just taking the last train for the night before he went to sleep. However, he wanted to see what was by the buffers. All right, you stinky freight cars, he said. Some Merlin's will sleep. I, I'm gonna have to pull you guys until your cup and blink snaps and I go be flying by those buffers. You can't go there, they said. It's dangerous. <laughs> but James didn't care. He pulled his wheel strained and he pulled and he pulled. Urgh, he groaned. My wheels! Finally, the cup blink snapped and James was sent flying. Right into the buffers. Bother, groaned James. Now how am I gonna get back on the rails? James thought all night. At the, 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 James thought and thought all night. The next morning, the freight cars had caught a good night's sleep, but not James. All right, you silly trucks. Where's James? Oh, he was pulling us, but but then he collided off the wheels when he hit the buffers in, in that mine. I better go check on him, groaned Merlin. I told that silly red engine not to do anything while I'm gone. James was worried, but then he saw Merlin. Hello, James, said Merlin. Have you learned your lesson? Yes, groaned James. Now I've learned something, Merlin. What's that? Never bump into sightings or places you likely don't know. Well, James, said Merlin, I'm glad you learned your lesson.
and James did. And hopefully he won't do some he won't do something like this ever again in future. But I don't know, don't you?